You're watching ETF, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do my top five what the fuck moments of Godzilla 2014. Yes. And without further ado, let's get started. At number five, the airport cutoff scene. While I have expressed that this, this did not disappoint me as much as it did other viewers, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I thought we were going to get down and get dirty. In fact, it was so surprising to me that they did this. I was laughing. And then I started laughing even further when I saw on the screen of the kid, you know, when... <laughs> when Ford and L's son was watching the news and watching the monsters uh, duke it out for a short period of time on screen, I laughed even further because I thought it was kind of funny how they were really, really teasing people. But it was a what the fuck moment because, you know, right there you think you're about to get down and get dirty. Muto, Godzilla, let's do it. And boom, goodbye. <laughs> Talk about a major cock tease. So at number four, the Muto in the mountain. Yes, this was <laughs> this was a little bit like whoa. You know that that scene there with the train. It was it was a little intense. You know, especially when she started uh, walking around the bridge, and you see uh, uh, excuse me, you see me, you see Ford and Morales laying there and looking up at the Muto as it hovers above them. Very intense moment, but boy, when they showed the two military men at the... At, and this was before the uh, train track scene with uh, Ford and Morales. The two military men standing at the bottom, and they're looking up at Ford and Morales, and then in the background, you start seeing movement. Boy, that was like, whoa, I was not... I mean, I knew that at that scene we would get a Muto, but I thought it would make a more grand appearance, a more noisy appearance to know that it was sitting there the whole time and just decided to start creeping on him was was definitely very cool a uh, little bit a little bit cringeworthy and I, I thought it was awesome i thought it was an awesome scene so number three what the fuck moment godzilla's atomic breath oh boy i never forget the first time i saw this so the muto starts to kind of you know move in towards Ford right after he blew up her nest and he makes a noise and she notices him and as she creeps towards him you see a blue reflection off of Ford's face the Muto turns around and you see Godzilla's tail and you see the blue light slowly make its way up his back and as it pans around you see Godzilla's face and he burrows out his chest and he cocks his head back just a little bit and BAM there it is the blue beauty <laughs> sprays all over the Muto with his atomic breath she falls back and she's out of the count for a little bit and boy I was so excited when I saw that scene I wish I had a rewind button right there in the theater I could have seen that a hundred more times before letting the movie finish so at number two Brian Cranston's death Joe Brody's death that definitely caught me off guard I was not expecting him to die that soon. I thought there'd be a chance there would be a chance that he died, but not that soon into the movie. And I got to say, I was very surprised that he met his demise 20 minutes into the movie. I was disappointed. I understood why they did it, but I was very disappointed that he died. I felt that he could have had brought more to the movie further in and maybe have his death later on i think even having it later on would have been more impactful but nonetheless he met his demise and it was a shocking moment for me i did not expect that so and number one the kiss of death yes the kiss of death just as ford is about to get eaten again or just as the Muto is about to engage Ford for a second time, here comes Godzilla to finish her off, grabs her by the neck with his mouth, pulls her back, turns her around, opens up her mouth, and just when you think he's going to do his best impression of Mechagodzilla on Anguirus or King Kong on the T-Rex, he pours open his... He, Breaks open his mouth, looks down, and pours open his atomic breath right down her throat. 
The heat and radiation essentially ripping her neck apart, decapitates the Muto, dumps the head in the water, and decides to go back into town for a little nap. And those are my top five what the fuck moments for Godzilla 2014. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.